It is known as a game of titans. He's a giant among giants. A place where towering superstars wage epic battles. Relentlessly pounding away with the superior advantage. And where fans gaze upward to watch their heroes soar through the air above. But when marveling at the NBA's magnificent athletes, there is another type of star to consider. With the grace and the speed of a ballet dancer. One that shows his brilliance closer to the earth. Another one of those magical To appreciate the beauty of these natural wonders. Beautiful, beautiful. That's all you can describe that child. Fans must set their sights below the rim. From the NBA's earliest days, big men dominated the game and the headlines. The league's first superstar was towering George Mikan, the center of the Minneapolis Lakers, who led his team to three straight championships in the 1950s. But as the fledgling NBA looked to take its place in the national spotlight, it would turn its eyes to a different kind of star, a smaller player, who brought new creativity and flair to the game and grabbed the attention of fans across the country like never before. I think Kuzi was to the NBA what Babe Ruth was to baseball. Kuzi put a lot of flash into what he did. Kuzi was putting the ball behind his back and he'd do all these spectacular ball handling things and it looked like magic. He not only helped the NBA but he helped establish the franchise in Boston and created fans. Nicknamed the Houdini of the hardwood, Bob Cousy was the NBA's first true showman. And quickly, he was playing to packed houses in every city. It's entertainment. We're all, in that sense, if we're honest with ourselves, I suppose we're all kind of show-offs in, in the sense that, you know, we want to display our skills, we want to be successful, and, uh, and we want the appreciation of the audience. Kuzi was more than just a sideshow, however. Carefully orchestrating the Celtics' offense, he displayed an uncanny court sense that helped him revolutionize the role of playmaker. Kuzi would really hit the open man, and when you got the ball, you were just in the position where you could take the shot. You never got the ball uh, before you got to your position. Kuzi would not give it to you. Kuzi would lead the league in assists for eight straight seasons, be named to the All-NBA First Team ten straight times, and become the first guard to be named the league's most valuable player. But perhaps his greatest legacy is his unmatched record of team success. For over a decade, it seemed that a championship celebration in Boston was an annual rite. Collecting an unprecedented six titles in seven years, Cousy fashioned a long list of memorable performances. But perhaps none summed up his brilliant career better than his last. Everybody on our ball club truly respected Cousy's ability and wanted him to go out with a championship. In game six of the 1963 finals, the Celtics were on the verge of sealing their gift to their leader by delivering another title. But as Cousy injured his ankle, it seemed that his farewell would now be tainted by disappointment. It made for a dramatic moment because of the circumstances. My last game, the end of a career, the world championship on the line. But drama was what Cousy had always thrived on, and now would not be an exception. Cousy came back onto the court and really his experience and knowing what he could do under those circumstances really helped us emotionally. Leading his team one last time, he would ensure that his curtain call would end appropriately in championship celebration. I was very pleased that I was able to get back in and finish in that fashion and throw the ball to the ceiling and hug Russell and now back and because it was obviously a meaningful moment for me. This was the culmination of 13 years, another championship, 
So the whole set of circumstances, you know, created uh, the most emotional experience of my career. Cousy would leave the game as the father of a new style of basketball and as the pioneer for generations of little men to follow. All I've heard recently is how you going to replace Bob. That's my answer. Can't be done because that's Mr. Basketball. Thank you.